Hey guys, how you doing? This is Colin with uh, uh, Sailing on Bell, um, our Catalina 25. Um, this video is going to show some of the new improvements we've done with our Catalina 25 uh, named Bell. Um, we're going to start off on the back here. Uh, one of the new things we did, we got the uh, Panther uh, motor mount, swapped out the original motor mount that was on the boat. Uh, this is great for our 9.9 high thrust motor um, gets it out of the water a little bit better it's very easy to operate and um, I've been pretty impressed by it so far so um, if you're looking for a new motor mount Panther's got a really nice one reasonably priced on Amazon uh, getting on the boat um, actually right here uh, so these are the custom uh, aftermarket windows um, if you don't have these these are a great improvement to your boat uh, I had a cracked one um, the previous owner um, showed me the crack and I just hadn't gotten around to it so I replaced that today um, that turned out pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it and hopefully it stays nice and sealed up um, coming on the boat one of the things that we do like to do on our boat is fish um, and I have been given this Garmin uh, GPS 541S. Um, we did install a transducer, um, and I actually put it back here. I have it on this rod. Um, I didn't drill any holes in the boat. You can see it down there. Uh, this is great because I didn't want to put any more holes in the boat and I can raise and lower this up and down. That way, if I do want it out of the water for a period of time, it works. Um, you know, I can have it out of the water or have it in the water. Um, and that gives us our depth and some information. You know, so right now we're at 6.4 feet. Uh, this will give us our speed. Um, I put it on this nice, homemade built bracket just show you here so this bracket goes in and tucks away and then it comes back out and locks into place so it's a nice little feature gives us nice um, real good view of our depth and um, we do have um, the original depth finder that was on the boat the speedometer did not work on here so now we will have that there um, i just wired it up and it goes to our panel and goes back to the transducer there uh, if you've seen some of my previous videos um, i wanted to do a big electrical um, upgrade on the boat so i took my batteries out of the uh, inside of the cabin and I moved them down into my cockpit locker um, I have a house battery and a starting battery behind this red barrier board um, I mounted the switch I did a smart battery isolator and um, this allows me to have uh, the batteries closer to the panels um, it will uh, I don't lose the voltage drop that I had before and I upgraded all the wiring. Um, going inside, going inside, we now have our um, battery monitor installed, and it's right next to our panels. So on here, it shows we're currently using 1.73 amps. It shows our voltage on the boat. Um, it is charging via the uh, small battery charger that's why we're a little high there um, it shows our runtime uh, milliamp hours is calculated up you can clear all that out this is a great little monitor amazon sells it and um, i'm hoping that it's going to improve you know our battery monitoring on the boat and hopefully uh it'll be great for the season uh, it's a 20 dollars monitor um, it comes with the shunt so you can measure current and uh, it's pretty good um, as we're right here uh, one of the new things we did is we put in a uh, electronic uh, or electric pump for our galley 
Um, I can't run it right now because uh, I have antifreeze in the system. But um, this is a great new feature. Uh, one of the ways I wanted to get rid of the water in the tank was to be able to run the water instead of using the hand pump. Now I can just turn this on and just run this. Uh, there's our two panels. Um, let's see, we did two new lights. Uh, we possibly might mount the TV. Um, for the time being, we're just going to take it off. That way the moisture doesn't get to it. Um, but it is a nice TV that we're going to have there. Uh, it allows for DVDs and um, we'll be able to watch um, you know, movies and stuff on it while we're at anchor or while we're at a marina uh, staying over. It'll be great for the kids. And uh, that's pretty much what we've done. Um, if you have any questions about what we've done and uh, or you want to know some of the part numbers or anything like that, just give me a shout on the video and I will be glad to send them to you. Hope you enjoy the video and we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.